We've set up the iMusic app to use iCloud and are now pushing our user preferences to the cloud. But how do we get notified of those changes and synchronize them to our local app? In this lesson, I'll answer the first part of that question. Both the Mac and iOS platforms provide a great implementation of the observer pattern built around a class called NS Notification Center. Oftentimes, two or more objects need to communicate with each other, but don't have a direct relationship. Instead of forcing an artificial relationship between these objects, an object can post a notification to the Notification Center, and it will then in turn notify all observing objects of that notification and allow them to respond as appropriate. This is an elegant pattern and one that's widely used in iOS. There are lots of notifications flying around at any given time, and you're free to register for notification whenever you want to participate. This notification process forms the basis of how we listen for external changes made to iCloud. By an external change, I mean on a device other than where the current instance of the app is running. For instance, if the user has the app installed on both their iPhone and iPad, a change made by the iPad would trigger an external change on the iPhone, and vice versa. Let's write some code and see this in action. I'll scroll up to the top of my class, and I'm going to override the init with coder method. This is the initializer that will get invoked when you're loading a view controller from a storyboard. I'm initializing self by calling super init with coder, and assuming self was properly initialized, I then want to register for a notification. So I'll call NS Notification Center Default Center, and this will give me a reference to the Singleton NS Notification Center instance that's running in our app. This class will then add itself as an observer for a notification. In the selector argument, we'll pass the selector of update from iCloud. So this is the method that we're going to have invoked when this notification happens. We'll implement this in just a minute. The name argument defines the particular notification we want to listen for. In this case, NS Ubiquitous Key Value Store did change externally notification. Quite a mouthful. And in the actual notification object itself, we'll contain a reference of this NS Ubiquitous Key Value Store. Let me implement this update from cloud method. So this will have a void return type, and we'll take an argument of NS Notification. And this will contain the relevant data about this particular notification that was posted. Now for the time being, I'm simply going to pop up an alert message. So I'll create a UI alert view, giving it a title of received. We'll have a message saying received iCloud notification and just have an OK button. And I'll call it show method to pop that message up. If we travel on the Wayback Machine to the beginning of this class, you may recall that I said there are certain features you can't test in the simulator. And working with iCloud is one of those features it does require that you deploy it to an actual device. Attempting to demo features that have to run on a device has historically been a difficult thing to do, but I recently found a great app called Reflection that allows you to hook up one or more devices and actually mirror them to your screen. So let's switch over to that setup so we can see this in action. My iPhone unfortunately is a 4 and doesn't have the necessary hardware to do screen mirroring, but I do have two iPads, so I've got the app installed on both my iPads. And as I make a change on one, I should see a notification being sent to the other one via iCloud. So on the one on the left, I'll tap the date segment. And in just a moment, I should see a notification pop up on the right. And there we go. I'll switch that one to date as well. And then on the one on the right, I'll tap name. And we should see that pop up in the one on the left. Pretty cool. So right now the actual state of our interfaces isn't quite in sync, but we'll take care of that in the next lesson. In this lesson, we learned how to use NS Notification Center to register to be notified of changes made to iCloud. NS Notification and NS Notification Center are widely used by the platform, so experiment with it and get a better sense for this concept.